Few people will recognize his name, but many will instantly recall his voice and lowbrow comedic creations. I'm Bob. Hey, welcome to WatchMojo.com. I'm your host, Derek Allen, and today we'll be taking a look at Mike Judge and his fascination with American culture and anti-intellectualism. Mike Judge was born on October 17, 1962 in Guayaquil, Ecuador, before moving to Albuquerque, New Mexico. He later graduated from the University of California with a bachelor's degree in physics. Despite his chosen profession, he craved the chance to be more creative and sought out a career in comedy. In 1991, he created the adult cartoon short Milton, which later became the live-action movie Office Space in 1999. It showcased his cynical view of the American work environment, specifically office cubicles and restaurant chains. Sounds like a case of the Mondays. <laughs> the film became a small hit for its celebration of one man's revolt against 90s corporate culture and cruel employers. Looks like you've been missing a lot of work lately. I wouldn't say I've been missing it, Bob. <laughs> the film also took jabs at the American white male's fascination with gangster rap of the time. Back up in your ass with the resurrection. His cartoon series Beavis and Butthead was created in 1993 for MTV and became an instant phenomenon for its idiotic portrayal of the American teen culture of the suburbs. No way! That sucks! It sucks! Beavis and Butthead became known for its witty critique of the teenage obsession with fast food, loud music, and pyromania. Mike Judge took such large involvement in the show that he even voiced both members of the hormone-driven duo. Okay, would you like some fries to go with that? Did I ask for fries? Dumbass. After a four-year run, Beavis and Butthead hit the bid screen in Beavis and Butthead Do America. Judge then retired the series and quickly created another hit with his two-time Emmy-winning series, King of the Hill. This series again featured Judge's voice talent, this time as a suburban family man. So, you ready to kick some wildcat butt, Bobby? The series concentrated on depicting the tedious everyday lives of an average middle-class American family and their obsession with lawn care. In 2006, Judge then wrote and directed the film Idiocracy. This movie portrayed an opposite yet similarly themed scenario to what took place in Beavis and Butthead. This film told the story of two ordinary people who are frozen for 500 years and wake up in the future to discover that they are the smartest people alive. I'm the Secretary of State. Brought to you by Carl's Jr. Why do you keep saying that? Because they pay me every time I do. The film showcased Judge's fascination with American commercialism, anti-intellectualism, and the result of a world absent of responsibility and consequences. In 2009, Mike Judge wrote and directed the film Extract. The film followed the foreman of a flower extract plant and his never-ending stream of work issues with his idiotic and inebriated employees. I'm just gonna sit here. In a similar style to Office Space, Extract enabled the audience to sympathize with one side of the American workforce. She's a tramp? Temp. Throughout the years, Mike Judge's witty and satirical portrayal of the American way of life in both animated cartoons and live action films have attracted him a significant cult following. Did you see the memo about this? Few artists have matched his portrayal of the tedium and idiocy found in American culture. I am the great Cornholio. <laughs> I'm a gringo. <laughs> I have no bunghole. <laughs> bunghole. <laughs>